About an hour northeast of Cedar Rapids is a town called Dyersville I keep coming back to. The attraction for me is that it's this charming little town and it's the site of a movie called Field of Dreams that I was lucky enough to be a part of 30 years ago. I have had so many people come up to me and tell me how that movie has changed their lives. There's very few movies that you can say that about. We're out here in Iowa, heading out to Dyersville, um, Dubuque, I think, also. Gonna check out the Field of Dreams, Family Legacy. If you build it, the wonderful book that my dad wrote about his experience in Field of Dreams and with his own dad. Oh, I snuck it in. I absolutely did. So, love you, Dad. This is the Mississippi River, the one that sort of changed this whole country. And... Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it's as breathtaking as people say, I feel like. I've not really, I mean, I've never seen the Mississippi before. I love the old bridges, you know. We could take a swim if you guys want to. Oh, you know, I'm good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned there's going to be a game there in a little while, yeah? Yeah. MLB's having this game between the uh, Yankees and the White Sox next right. August, so I mean, be a it should little be, warmer, I hope. Yeah, it should be crazy though to have Major League Baseball in that little cornfield. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh. I'd love it. I'd wow. come over a hill, and you turn a corner, and there's like, look at that! Like, talk about picturesque. I, I, so there's these guys who, they dress up in the outfits, the old White Sox outfits that the players wore in the movie. And oh, wow. a few of them were actually extras in the movie, played baseball players in oh. the movie. So, <laughs> But they started this legacy where on Sundays, they come out of the corn in this kind of very beautiful way. And then they all run to the field the way it happened in the movie. Yeah. And then they usually play against kids <laughs> but these guys are so funny and they tease all the kids and they just do funny things and it's sort of like the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, they, that's so It's cute. called the, the greatest show on dirt. So we're heading to the Field of Dreams. I'm really excited to get to see it for the first time. A lot of people go to that Field of Dreams because of the relationship they have with their dads and a way to acknowledge it. You know? It's cool to be going back to the Field of Dreams because that feels like a legacy to me somehow. I mean, even though I'm not really inheriting anything, just going there and you know, I don't have a lot of those touchstone right. things that people have that go back to the family home or whatever. But the field is like that for everybody. So it has a certain hallowed feel to it, I think. I just can't get over it. I don't know. See on the other side. We got to see it like this before we go. Hey, Dad. Uh, Want to have a catch? <laughs> <laughs> 